everyone to map number two of the finals best of three we had version x take pearl 13-8 against Ariana Grande perfume a uh, bit closer towards the end thankfully but it started off very much in favor of version x now we move on to haven as our next map which is going to be Ariana Grande perfumes map choice uh, epitomes that was also the map they won last time they played one of the maps they won actually so uh, you feeling good about this one for AGP? Uh, I feel like for Haven, it is definitely one of AGP's strongest maps. They have a really overwhelming win rate here. And version X, it's definitely a little bit weaker on Haven. But I think if you look at their performance on Pearl, I think it definitely helped warm up AGP for the map of Haven since you have a little bit more of that stress on the mid control, on the rotations, on the defense. And that's definitely going to help. Okay, yeah, Gompers, your thoughts moving into Haven here. I think overall, um, you know, you can account for Playstyle and talk about, yeah, they, they have a really good run on Haven, but then also, you, you know, version X, it's version X, a, a signed team, rightfully so. They have their, you know, their ups and downs, but overall, they're a very, very dominant team. So I, I think the biggest thing that I would say is they got to win out a lot of those aim duels and start really putting that util forward to try to gain those advantages because that's why they kept losing uh, rounds and rounds and rounds in a row. It was that util that I felt like wasn't impactful that started getting impactful the second half. So that's definitely going to be a big thing, especially on a map like Haven. I'd say it was them getting warmed up, but of course there's already one best of three prior, so maybe just yeah. getting warmed up to uh, their particular opponents. Uh, hopefully that's the case anyways. I think we're all won that game number three uh, but epitomies you know we do have the stats the last time they played on haven but it was three months ago so mm -hmm. how much are we expecting it to be different now well it's definitely going to be interesting the next time that we see them play on haven since i mean they did play it in this tournament right so they won multiple times on haven in this tournament so i'm confident that they will be able to have something fresh that they can bring to the table mm -hmm. but otherwise in terms of stats those definitely go out the window when you're looking at something that's old especially with a roster like version x that always has players changing and also has a sub lane for them today right yeah we uh, didn't really touch on it too much, uh, probably because, you know, they, they won, so it wasn't uh, clearly not something that was dragging them down or anything like that. But, yeah, Gompers, uh, any thoughts uh, in similar, I guess, topic between last time they played on Haven and this time? What's going to be the differences? Uh, not necessarily sure. I feel like just play the way that you that you normally do, you know, keep those strats inside of your strap book, and then once those changes are needed, then, you know, obviously put those changes forth. So I definitely feel like that's just going to be the case for version X and AGP, although I, I'm interested to see what they do to change, you know, and, and put those adaptations forth. Hmm. Well, between the two maps, uh, Pearl and now into Haven, what, we pick up anything, uh, Epitomies, as, as far as the strengths of Ariana Grande Perfume that could come into Haven? or what the weaknesses of version X might be. 
I think on Haven, you have a map where you can kind of switch around the controllers. So you can use any controller. Astra is very strong, so they might put Panday back on that Astra. But Breach is also kind of becoming the staple on Haven, right? So Panday back on the Breach, I think that definitely is going to give them quite a bit of an advantage. Since we saw how that went last time, and maybe I'm putting a little bit too much faith in this one <laughs> agent, but I definitely think it was it was just a really impressive performance. And yeah. I think that playing off those flashes and the fault line, the amount of crowd control that you can gain with that agent is pretty impressive. We'll probably see the breach from the other side of version X as well, mm -hmm. though. And I don't know if they're going to replay the Neon because the Neon, I feel, had effect, but it wasn't really because of her utility as much it w as it was just because Bungie is such a good rider. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Uh, Gompers, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I have to agree. I think the Breach is a fantastic choice, especially on Haven. Uh, I would prefer Panday on the Breach, kind of like what Tala said, just because like you see a good breach you can't not want to see it again i feel like that's that's the gist of it giving the player their uh, best foot forward is what it looked like i guess anyways <laughs> i don't know if it actually is but it just it did look really good so yeah, yeah. we'll actually see what they're going to choose because agent collect is ready so let's take it to map two all right tala you're the color caster all right so yeah <laughs> color color me color me a picture Color, color a picture? All right. Yeah. So looking like we have Mayu switching on to the Omen instead, right? No Astra for this map. No Viper. So it's going to be Mayu who switches on to that smoke roll. We have Astralis playing the info when Astralis was previously playing, I believe, the KO. So that's the flash initiator. And instead, mm -hmm. Panday is playing the flash initiator. And on the other side, it looks like instead of the rays, which is a little bit of a safer pick, a little less reliable in terms of movement and mobility, because you need to be able to air strafe and all with her double satchels. But you do get the advantage of having a little bit kind of like a third initiator, because you have have that info that can be gathered using her boom buddy and also the damage that comes from the paint shells but on the other hand you are also missing out a little bit with a showstopper because first of all it's an eight point ultimate which is a lot of alt points to put into something and second Select of all because it's not really an eco ultimate you can't really buy for your teammate and to say i'm just going to go showstopper because that's not really the way that it works it doesn't have multiple bullets it's not refreshing like you see from jet but it is mm -hmm. more reliable <laughs> okay you know, you just spit some facts. Did I understand it? No, I'm <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited. Uh, you know, once again, I'm I'm always saying I'm excited, but obviously, I mean, who wouldn't be excited? We're watching Valorant. This is um pretty epic in terms of uh, you know, especially who we're seeing, right? AGP, the players with the Pogger Twitter account. Have you seen their tweets? No, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's Do I actually... have to look it up right now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Do yeah. I have to look up AGP's Twitter? I always talk about it, dude. Their tweets are actually hilarious. They have me cracking up. Cracking yeah. up on Tuesday night. All right. You seen it? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing this penguin versus versus Bowser, you know? And what are your thoughts? What do you, what yeah, are you thinking? Yeah, you this, is, this is pretty top tier memery. I know. And that's the thing. Once you got the memes down, you got the gameplay down. Facts. That makes no sense. But creativity means bragging. Okay, Crisp takes the early fight. Doesn't get anything here. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I think this is uh, you know, the time for Crisp to out what they want to put out but panda getting taken down we talked about panda how good of a breach can Spike they be down it seems a. like the breach on breach was too much for them now a 2v3 a lot of struggle coming forth case we're on in front of their life because they don't want to get taken out too early yet oh they running <laughs> mm -hmm. This yeah, is a very slow flank, if it's a uh -huh. flank at all. I believe it is. 
But they have last player. Oh no, they knew. Chamber, you still have yeah, sitting around I'm back. Doesn't matter. Already over crisp with the three K to kind of close and die. I'm surprised I saw as many frenzies as I as I did. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like Frenzy is kind of an underrated gun, you know? Okay. Yeah. It's so like... You're a Frenzy gal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was buying Frenzy way back in, like, Act 1. <laughs> Just kidding, okay. I wasn't playing in Act 1. But... <laughs> you say you're not an OG? No, I didn't, I didn't even play. Beta or whatever it's called, but you know, now are you yeah, either because I didn't want to be labeled as a beta. You know what I mean? so. Oh, facts. Yeah. Oh, sheesh, <laughs> that's a good kill. Okay, the One thing is that like, you know, fearless having a lot of impact with their Wait, utility. What? Victory for them. Okay, wavy. <laughs> Never mind. I take, you know, I. I feel like we're both confused. I'm not really sure what happened there. I'm pretty sure Wavy got that first pick <laughs> with the paint shells yeah. because, like, uh, Australis just, like, threw, you know, threw, yeah, threw yeah, the yeah. seas, the tether, and then Slays gets caught. Slays goes down. And then all of a sudden, she's, like, double satcheling into your face, and the prowlers are coming at you, and the haunt is coming at you, and you're like, ah, oh, what's going on? And then she's running, running, gunning, and then it's just, like, Easy, easy pickings. Okay. <laughs> you know, that was a great analysis. Oh. oh. I like the positioning that we're seeing out of this. It's like they don't extend themselves to try to find those picks. It's they keep themselves oriented and well placed so that they don't have to worry. Where are you? Okay, this is a good, interesting play. They're just kind of sitting in spawn waiting for someone to push up short, and it hasn't happened. So they have no choice but to pick a place and go there. Since they are down a player, and that's Bungie, so they kind of miss that space making that the jet can have for you. And they're also missing a gun because of that. But it can't be recovered just yet go by here. Ariana Grande Perfume, mm -hmm. unless it can. Be available. 30 seconds left. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna miss round out in particular. Spike planted. At least for version X, because they have their phase here. Super, super low on health. They have to try to pick these fights for a fake. Ooh. They're playing that 2v1. And the partnership here is what might actually get them up in the first place. Maybe they can win this one out. Wavy seeming like they use their ultimate. And was it a waste? Oh, I think so. They push back these players. They oh no! Oh oh, they get oh, peak, oh! And now the oh, no. are coming through. Panda doesn't even care. It's so good. Ah, oh, this is defense for Ariana Grande Perfume too. I mean, Virgin X. They definitely feel like they're playing a little bit further back here. They was a lot slower to get that plant down, and the post plant positioning was not as good. They were unable to anchor through garage that position, and because of the use of the aftershock, they were pushed pretty far back and couldn't watch the fuse directly since it wasn't planted that open. But I feel like they did have that entire site to themselves, so they could have planted yeah. it in somewhere more open, like front generator, instead of planting so far back behind the... No, <laughs> behind the boxes. And I, as I was saying that, that tether went out with the nade, and I was just thinking, this is, this is so annoying if I was in this game. <laughs> Oh, it starts wait, what? Wavy, another oh, ace? Yeah, I'm assuming see. that this is going to be another wavy ace. What is going on? HP just kind of stunting on version X. Yeah, that was that's a good that's a good way to describe it. Stunting. I mean, they didn't clear the close corner, and I think that might be in part due to the fact that the fade utility literally just like went past wavy and didn't try to clear her at all um but i mean they didn't check it they were too busy looking at other things and then starlight 
TPs past the wavy, yeah. and the wavy sees the first player, and they're like, ah, oh, I see. They're committing to this, and goes for all the swings, <laughs> hits all the shots. Yeah. Just so nicely done from Ariana Grande, Perfume, especially from Wavy. Uh, playing the duelist, you know, hasn't had, like, really the most standout performance. Has definitely made a lot of space here. But I think this <laughs> this game, this might be their game. They are just having such a good time in these early rounds. Nobody pushed up just yet. Version X, I, I mean, I'd be afraid as well. It seems like they're... Now the respect is starting to go. For them, at least. Because just based off of what's been going on and what's been happening here. Pande. They didn't clear Pande. Pande's in the back of the site, golfers. And Wavy, with the showstopper now, remaining. finds a kick onto Mluo. Now it's all starlight. Okay, AGP 5-0. Oh. oh, and that's a tough battle. But overall, like, uh, just seeing AGP come from, uh, you know, losing so many rounds to having a map of their own where, you know, they're the ones who are going to be dominant this time around is, is pretty great to see. Version X, they are on that half by once again. And I feel like if they lose this one, it's it's time to go back to the drawing board and call a timeout, right? Yeah. Since you you're halfway play, through the half, you haven't gotten a single round on the attack, which is supposed to be the easier path. But version X, they've taken out the Tour de Force. Let's see if Mluo can find anything here. Bungie is completely blind. It's just got spam down. There for crispy. Down a. Yep, dry peak. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guys. is great for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Emlo. And I feel like they thought, you know, just based off the fact that they had the op. Oh, let me Last just peek this because they're probably reloading on that. Like, I mean, it didn't really matter. Oh, that, that was a nice flawless. shot. That was a nasty uh, shot. <laughs> the op is going to be hard to deal with here. Yeah. I mean, Chris, that was. That was crispy. And I think it was just kind of funny to me that they started peeking it one by one because K was right there, you know? The flashes were right there. You could have gone for the flash, but but they didn't. And it was it was uh, just an unfortunate series of events that led to the flawless of Ariana Grande perfume. But this is almost looking like a reversal of what happened in that last round. And Virgin X are surprisingly not calling a timeout. They're just, they're just gonna run it down. Yep, have fun. Have fun. Oh. Nicely done, though. Finally, they take hold. Are going to have fun here? I don't know. I mean, you lose one, you start to, you, you know, your hands start to get sweaty. Yo. Six to no. They Australis? need to win something for version X, but that was so good. Out of K. Oh. Bungie doesn't check heaven though. Pande finding three. No way. Down A. One enemy remaining. Crisp. Even to the blind is I'll find you. Good for them. <laughs> Good, for them. Good, Good for them. Good for them. <laughs> Spikes here. Oh, they're playing Ring Around the Rosie. On the mini map, they're just kind of walking around each other. 30 seconds left. Yeah. This slays around. And Chris finds it. I think that, yeah, this is definitely going to be an AGP type of map. Come on, 7 and 0. Already coming off on the defense. No timeout version X. Heck, okay, they're going for it now. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, now they have that blade storm available, but they already used yeah. up the tour de force in the round where they all dry peak the operator. So now it's, I mean, and that was their buy round as well. So this is kind of tough because they're going to be on some kind of janky half buy or eco buy, and maybe that blade storm can make a huge difference here. But from what I've seen, Bungie has 
repeatedly gone in without any support or any utility from the team there was no smoke in heaven at all yeah. from starlight to try and block out that angle from panday so they couldn't aggress into a ct and try to get a few more picks make some more space for the team or even just like path from defender spawn back into heavens to take down panday there was like no control no utility and it was just disjointed play from virgin x I think the biggest thing for version X is just uh, number one, the op from Crisp. <laughs> that one round in particular was a pretty hard one to watch. But I think as well as um, you know, just the fact that they keep faltering down when they finally have those buys, and they're forcing themselves into those you know isolated positions, dry peeking the op, dry peeking these types of angles. And of course, I mean, you know, you have K, you have Starlight, you have. Way so much potential Ugh, like that yeah um i mean we knew it was an eco we knew it would be tough but also under a breach it would yeah. you know <laughs> and, and now bungie also gets taken down there was like once again no support there from the team yeah. the paranoia could have come out so much earlier but bungie goes in so far and there's no support <laughs> <laughs> you have the flashes, one those and angles, you, you can down. use that util to your advantage. And then again, like even though it is a save round, it's also not impossible to come through with a win. So, you know, kind of just letting things go there and then. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, this map kind of feels like right. Virgin X is like taking their foot off the gas or more like like yeah. slamming their foot on the brakes because they are just, I, this is so disjointed and maybe they are just not used to the map and they haven't played it too much, but the, the way that they're playing just makes this seem like a completely different team. Oh wow, jump peaks, yeah. This is <laughs> Oh wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. I wanna see this, this one. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Stuart's trying to have Grace, fun with this fear. cast. It's... And they're making it fun. Oh! Oh my god, it was a flash! This is what I Gompers! wanted to see! <laughs> <laughs> they flashed it! <laughs> oh my god, do you oh, see that util? Oh it it found gosh. it got the util. <laughs> <laughs> All love and respect towards version X. Yes. I'm pretty sure they know that we're just playing around. <laughs> that was, that's what we wanted to see! And that's amazing, right? Like, look at Pande, okay? They flash out, but then they dry peek. And that's not the right answer. Oh, no. Okay. One enemy remaining. Oh, 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 such a nice shot. Oh, no, they're not going to get this. Oh. Maybe it's just the diff. I'm kidding. I, I think right here, it's mostly just, dang, I, they just went up the fights like it was nothing. I don't know. I think nine to three is still possible, though. I think even though we're in a save round, Slay's investing right in the Vandal. There, there could be something that could come through, right? Uh, yeah, no, no. I mean, Phantom. maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's it's possible here, right? Because you, if you buy this round, then you save next, and then there. you buy for last round in the half again. Like if you just have that kind of foresight, then yeah, investing in it in this can't be too bad of an idea here. But now Tour de Force out from Crisp. And okay, <laughs> I I feel like this isn't legal. What Crisp is doing to them? <laughs> <laughs> this feels illegal. Uh, no. Come on, like an op on Haven is almost impossible to get through. I, I do have to be honest with that yeah. fact because also we knew Crisp is a, a, like a complete demon on the chamber. So we're kind of just hitting Crisp territory right now. Yeah, it definitely feels like, I mean, these second series or second map of the series definitely feels yeah. like it's like, you know, Crisp territory. Um, Version X, they've at least made it a 3v3. Like, 3v3 on a kind of half buy, disjointed buy, and ooh, catches Mayu in the middle of the reload. Here. Still trying to spray through. I'm Luo, can't find it to flash out and Pande, regardless of the fact that they're low, they still find these picks. One finger, no, a bulldog ooh. there from Starlight. Able to get the 9 to 1. And uh, there you have it again, right? It's it's the util 
that yeah. I want to see. And it feels like after after that one round, they, they started picking themselves back up just a bit and the momentum started rising. Yeah, they were like, okay, so we flash this and then you peek. And, and I think, you peek. yeah, I mean, that's also such a big strength of Breach, right? Absolutely. The flashpoint yeah. goes so far, the aftershock goes far, the fault line is like infinite. So if you have a, a bungee just like tailwinding in there, dashing all over the place, updrafting, you can still support if you're far behind. You can't move yeah. as fast, but you can still support. And we weren't really seeing that come into the Steel game, it, especially in these, like, in the first few rounds. But now, now they're adjusting. Now they have these crawlers coming out. They're getting info beforehand. And Mayu, though, ooh, this is a really, really good corner. Oh, that was such a nice shot as well. Spikes here. Who else? A lot of blood. A lot of players here. Version XM. Oh, nice. Last last players. Players. And it feels like it's not over just yet. Luckily enough, right? Version X? Again, we talked about the confidence starting One to get lifted. Remaining. We can come see the why that's happening, Australis. Oh, and I'm scared. Because AGP before, they've had iterations where they managed to win things out based off of what they could do in these 1v1s, 1v3s. What they could do is definitely as strong as it could be. Australis picking off the two, finding the one. In a 1v1 situation, the spikes still here in front of their faces, and it's beautiful from Australis. Do you think they scare me? Yeah, oh, no. Australis just able to find that last pick, and now the best version X can hope for is <laughs> 10 to 2. And look at their economy, it's so broken. Mluo might be able to buy for a teammate here, but yeah. I mean, other than that, there's just no rifles, nothing at all that they can really bring to the table here. K has that Phantom in hands, and it's the Tour de Force. Maybe Bungie picking up an alt orb can contest yeah. as long as there's not a operator staring her down in the face while she's Teleport trying to switch. pick it up. But it, it's looking heavily, heavily contested across the map. Okay, Chris. Maybe the op isn't working as much as they would like it to, but 10 to 1. They've hit the double digits, Tala. <laughs> The double digits have been reached. I feel like this is, this is almost more dominant than what we saw from version X on Pearl. And I'm not sure if they can bring this one back. Wavy, oh gosh, the double showstopper kill. Now it's up to an Oh! Ooh. There was there was a glimmer of hope. There was a <laughs> glimmer with that first kill, but Wavy once again, 4k. Don't get killed by your own nade, Wavy. And then... Yeah. And now it's 11 to 1. It happens, man. Sometimes you just you let it slip. It's relatable. To me, at least. I'm not really, you know. This is why I'm a caster. But. See, I could be a professional player. Um, no, actually, yeah. that's so <laughs> mentally taxing. These players go through so much in scrims, in. <laughs> The competitive scene. Honestly, you know <laughs> Have you seen the it. tweets that are like the thinking, scrim scene is so abysmal I, right now? <laughs> I was thinking about how much time they put into scrims, and I genuinely, for a second, I almost cried. I I'm not even a competitive player, so I, I would highly respect <laughs> everybody playing here uh, because stuff like this isn't easy. And then to, to to put everything that you've tested, you know, onto your, onto our screens and kind of trying to. Competitive tournament looks good, Whoa. but <laughs> right here the strat. I mean, works How out. How well. crisp run in there with their knife. Spike down. It was a bait. It was, it was a bait. <laughs> okay, it's working out. It's okay. Understand. Understood. Spike planted. right here you know having the sheriffs in hand is what might give them more of that advantage since they can pretty much body shot and look for that hope get some of that damage that is really particular nice from Australis but couldn't actually secure the second and that's the most important thing you have to go one and more you have to pick for more especially Sorry, in situations like these AGP Tala I believe we are going to a third map <laughs> I also do believe that, looking at this scoreboard, <laughs> you know I what? believe. Actually, 
that brings a good point that I wanted to bring up. If you guys want to hear us talk in anime voices, anime dub voices, right? Just let us know in the, in the chat. Yeah, like okay? DM one of the one of the mods. You DM know. one of the mods and say, I want to hear that anime voice. And yeah. <laughs> 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 for Halloween, that's I'm doing. I'm for Halloween. I'm dressing up as an anime dub. He's Boruto, guys. I'm Boruto. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! This is a really tough round for Origin X. I mean, they <laughs> they forced this round. It's looking like it's over, honestly. Yeah. But, oh, okay. Shorty, Shorty plays. down see with the specter they managed to come out of the woodworks i believe this is also actually a force yeah coming out from version x so you can definitely see some of the probability that they could win this one out next sorry i need to just sneeze there and australis <laughs> is able to find four and that is the end of the game for version x i mean ariana grande perfume 13-1, signed team, version X, as a free agent team. That is just incredible, incredible scoreline. Wavy especially had a huge game. Australis, we knew she was good for those. She's good for those multi-kills. And I mean, yeah. uh, I don't think there's much that can be said about that game. <laughs> I said that, you know, we all wanted a game three, but I, I don't know if I wanted it like that. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a bit of a yeah. murder, what was going on there. Do we have any idea as to exactly why Epitomies, game, Games End, anything that you looked at overall? Was Arna Grande Perfume better? Was Version X worse? Is it somewhere in the mix? <laughs> uh, I want to say <laughs> that Version X definitely underperformed Like as a team. I, yeah. I don't know where their heads were at. It kind of seemed like they were all in like La La Land. Bungie was like, okay, I'm going in guys. And then the team was kind of sitting in their spawn for a little while longer and they were like, oh my God, guys, she's going in. And then utility would come in delayed. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen someone come in a ranked game, but it's like two seconds after someone dies from where like the player that they saw were at, they were like, they were U-Haul guys. <laughs> and then it's like everyone's dead. That's kind of what it felt like. Yeah, like there is some some latency in the in the call. Mm -hmm. Um, I I have to agree. You know, like it was a very fast map. You know, because it was so uh, one sided. But I feel like the mm -hmm. a lot of the rounds were also just quickly executed. So I, I'm a bit blindsided. Did you think uh, Gompers maybe that kind of happened with version X as well? You know, do you do you remember in the beginning that they look a little bit stronger and they started to crumble, or, or were they on latency on lag the entire map? Yeah, I. Oh uh, man, I I think I just think AGP just picked a good map to, to continue for us. I, I mean they pulled out some pretty good numbers in in Pearl coming into that attacking side. I think version X, uh, you know when it came to playing against that op, which I feel like was also one of the biggest factors as to why they couldn't really do anything. Mm. And and surprisingly enough too, because they had a breach and an omen and, and a fade to offset that operator. They had so much util that I feel like just wasn't being used as well as it should have been. Yeah, I guess so. It, bewildering, uh, I think it's mm -hmm. fair to say. Drastic change of pace, drastic change of score, uh, absolutely dominating from AGP. Map diff, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I actually don't know how to how to put this, man. Like, it's tied up one-to-one. -one. <laughs> so, all I can say is both teams have had uh, strong performances yeah. on their map picks just AGP was even stronger. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, but yeah, that was absolutely dominating from AGP. Absolutely back into things. Definitely have the confidence heading into our final map of the day. After the break, we're going to be getting into Ascent uh, to maybe get one of, you know, an actual even map finally as opposed to a total stop. But it seems like it's really up in the air. So stay tuned and find out, guys. I know that you do just fine.